Let's all take bets right now in the comments down below when I'm going to buy myself a new ring light because this one is attached by tape. That chair, though, is not going to work out. If I'm like, yeah. is the lighting good? If I back it up, is it fat enough? We'll be fine. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hey, Barbies and Kens. How are you all? How is your quarantining going? So I figured for today's, you gotta be kidding me. Every time's a charm, right? I can't tell if my camera's moving. I think it's fine, okay. Hey, what's up guys? And hey, Barbies and Kens. Welcome back to the channel, our channel, and if you're new here, my name is Gab, and for today's video, I thought it would be fun, and also because I'm losing my hair, granted, it's like, ugh, I have a braided, I don't want to like, rip it apart, but basically, I have alopecia, and from a medication I'm taking for my condition, uh, they're making my hair brittle, falling out of my head, and I'm gonna be 26 in a couple weeks and I to be honest growing up thought by 26 I would have this like beautiful luscious I feel like my camera's falling I need a new ring light my ring light is broken like it is broken so this has been a little bit of a struggle but anyways uh today I figured uh as a little birthday surprise to myself uh you know kicking off my birthday month ha 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 does anybody else do that is it just me we would do some wigs today so i know for a fact i'm gonna need a wig soon and i don't like how i'm losing my hair so i want a wig wigs make everything better it's definitely falling again so you can see my head cutting off see see I'm not even just saying this because i could just say it it's taped when I get off this video and I'm done filming, I'm going on Amazon and I'm ordering myself the same ring light, so. And I took my case off, I figured that would help. As soon as I'm done filming, guys, I swear I'm going on to my Amazon. I'm going to, like, stuff that's been bought in the last year or whatever or I've gotten. And I'm getting another one of these. Like, it, I used it almost every day. Like, what do you expect? I have, I have other ones. I have this one. This is a suction cup one. Should we try the suction cup one? I, I'm, like, embarrassed, honestly. Let's... If I back it up, is it fat enough? Look at it. That's actually great. And I don't have to worry about it going down. And I have to, like... This is what I was using. This is... And this part actually is like flimsy. It doesn't stand and it doesn't want to stay well lit. And this part I want to use for art. So I'm pretty excited about that. So this is this is good for now. I will warn you. Oh my God, this chair is screechy. That when I use the suction cup one on here, it doesn't like to say suction cup to my mirror. It actually like flies down. So you might hear me scream bloody murder. I'm sorry if I do in advance because it's a thing that has happened many times anyways so today for you guys i want to try on two different wigs i have opened these wigs up and i wanted to make sure i got the right one you know because they are from amazon and so i wanted to make sure they sent the right belongings to me i'm super excited to show them to you the one is a lace front the other one is just a plain old wig but they are beautiful i will have links down below if you would like to purchase your own wig they have different colors so you don't necessarily have to get the color that i got but today we'll be going over you know texture 
Does it get tangled easily? Maintenance, stuff like that. I haven't had a wig in ooh, years. I, I only owned one wig that I can remember and just hair extensions, lots of hair extensions. Both of these came with wig caps, but I actually have a wig cap that I'm probably gonna use that I prefer a little bit better. Put one right here. I wanna make sure all my clips are comfortable in my head because I'm throwing obviously a wig cap like this. And I wanna make sure that they're flat to my head what I'm putting down because even when you put a wig cap over something it could still have a little bit of a bulk on it and if it is by any means bulky you're gonna wanna like underneath the wig cap you know what I mean like if you could see it you're gonna see that through your wig and you don't want that it's gonna look bad and we just need to pin this part over here And I'm going to put one right here. I'll show you what I did in the back. Well, obviously, like, it doesn't need to be fancy because you're putting a cap over it. But this is what I did. To me, I think that is a decent job. You don't want to have, you know, it too tight or something. Okay, so let me, I want to get my wig cap that I like to use. It's a certain tightness. I just, I, I, I want mine. So give me a minute. By the way, if you don't own a wig cap, these are super duper cheap, so they're easy to obtain. You want to put this part here, the part that is thicker here. So the part that's thicker that looks like a pantyhoe, you're going to put it like that. Basically like you're putting a hairnet on. I sometimes tie the top of them. You technically don't have to if you actually feel like you have it tight enough and all of your hair is in there good enough and my hair is like freaking orange so you could see you know where it goes this is what it looks like so that's what it looks like and we're gonna go with this white box that I got first from fashion wigs premium wigs however you pronounce that i'll put the link down below this came in a lot of really cool colors so the wig is in a bag they give you this was on the wig when they gave it to me which was nice thank you they give you a skin colored wig cap i have this one in already they also gave me in this box a pair of free earrings look like little swans uh these are stickers or fake tattoos or something of hello kitty a business card this weave cap oh i don't know does this come in here i'm assuming it did but i don't know why it's a different color on there. Whatever. That. They gave me more sticky tattoos. And then a note that says, Hi, it's my honor to serve you. Thank you so much for purchasing <clears throat> at our shop. Hope you have a nice day. Wow, my voice is like, it, it's like vocal cords shut off. But they sound like really nice notes. So let's check out this wig. Let's assess it. So it is a very pretty pale pink sort of color. It's a little frizzy and flyaway y off. Just like looking up close at it. But that's okay. There's wig brushes you could get. Um, sometimes they're good to use. Other times finger combing is fine. And for like washing and stuff like that, I like to use uh, Johnson's Baby Shampoo actually and body wash. It's very good. It's not too harsh. This is the inside part of it. And there's underneath. Do you see these different snaps? so different tightness kind of like a bra strap on it to put
put on wigs. Usually they say go from the back to the front. I am assuming. Oh, is this, this is sideways? Is this, I think I have it. Pretty well. Yeah. I was very afraid of putting on glasses with wigs too, if it would just be too tight and it's not at all. Yeah, let me adjust that. Okay. Ooh. So here's the first one. So you can basically put the bang styled any way that you uh, want to. I like how they are right now to the side. But then also, if I curled them, have them like, you know, straight across. Have them just parted to the side, but actually like what they were doing. Like how that little piece comes over too. That's really cute. So this is my first one. I know sometimes people take wigs, they cut around on them, they do different things, but I just, I really like the way that this one falls. I think this looks super, so creaky, super, super natural for a colored wig, especially a pastel one, because sometimes when you get colored wigs, they look very fake, um, I don't know, kind of like Halloween-ish, and this to me is by far not at all and can i just tell you too that this wig has no harsh smells coming up none at all you would i know you know you get products from different places and right out of the box bag they smell so bad this is not like that at all it's so freaking pretty and flattering i love how the curls look very full very wavy uh if you guys want it i could do a video like cleaning wigs and like how i am gonna be cleaning this and styling it after so i can do that for you i have a feeling that it should keep shape if not i can make some waves in it pretty easily but i just i, I this is definitely worth the money i am telling you that right now uh, this is by far worth the money. <laughs> it's just so flattering. And I love the length of it. It's not like too short. It's just kind of, it's just perfect. I don't know. I want to get another one. I would love to get this in maybe a blonde, even a brown would be fine. But I just, I'm over happy with how this looks on me and the fit and everything about it. Okay, so this one is a total success. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm kind of loving it. Our second one is a lace front wig. Now, I've never cut a lace front wig in my life. I've been looking up videos after videos because I'm like so nervous about it. And I think that it's going to be fine. I think I'm just like making it a bigger deal than it is but i'm gonna show you the one i got today it is a really great one from amazon i really looked over reviews how they looked on people this is a cutie tizzler hair collection wig and it comes in this really nice bag now basically like i was saying in the beginning of the video i have issues it comes with a wig cap growing my hair because of illness so it really helps that's cool two pieces of a wig cap comes with and this is a uh, customer support stuff okay uh if i was able to grow my hair this is how it would look in my eyes so that's why i got this wig and it is, like I had mentioned, a lace front. It is not plucked. I haven't touched it or done anything to it. I did bring a brush out. I don't know if I'm going to use the brush on it, though. So that's what it looks like out of the bag. Obviously, you know, you can style it, thin it down if need be. Oh, 
could trim some of it if I have to. Uh, the front, as I had mentioned, is a lace front. So that is what a lace front looks like. And then it has the combs inside, I guess, to latch on to your actual hair. I have a wig cap on, so there's no need for that. And then it has like those little bra straps again on it. So I'm going to put the little... And for cutting it, I am going to put it on my head because, like I said, I've never cut a lace front before and it's not something I would like to mess up. So they say you should go where your part is and that's where my part is, right where I just put it. It is extremely thick. Like, it's, it's really thick. Um, I think that what I want to try is taking this off and maybe try letting the clips suction into my head. Doesn't hurt. It's a lot of hair. And I will say this one does have a slight smell to it, but this, this is a lot of hair. And that's the only issue with it. Ooh. Ah! Oh my god. I might need to have a cap on. I don't know. Oh my god. Like, my clips started popping out. Okay, I need a minute. Let's try a wig cap that actually came with it. How does that sound? Let's, let's do that. So it came with two. It says it's the world's number one brand. I wonder if they're lying about that. This looks like... Oh, I, I see why it's... Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm about to look like a penis in two seconds. Okay. I'm about to be Michael Phelps in two seconds. All right. But I have to make sure... Do I have a widow's peak? Kind of knew about myself. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I got it on my head, but to be honest, I think this is like something that my hairdresser is gonna have to fit out for me to be honest like look at this like i feel like i need to take a turn just be like can you fit it out of it like it's just it's a lot it's a lot do you it's it's a lot and i feel like that should be like that and i'm afraid to cut the lace on it i am like i'm i'm nervous too i just had a cute little scissor here where is it I had like an actual hair cutting scissor I lost it. I can't see because the hair is like, it's very flyaway. I will say that much. It's very flyaway. So I watched this tutorial video and it says you should go onto the side to cut it. Oh my God. I really don't think I'm going to be able to cut this myself. I Oh my god, it just got so it just got so dangled in the baby hairs. Oh my god. I look like a penis. This wasn't how this was supposed to go today. And look at this thing stay. All these people were raving about this wig. Did they lie? Does this wig actually suck? I, I I don't know. I have no words. It's just, it's a lot, like I said, mentioned. <laughs> and um, the overall head part on it is big. It's, it's really big. Um, I have a really petite head. <laughs> and um, this is like, it's just, it's big on me. I guess I could make it smaller. 
sure how I feel about this one. Because when I first put it on, I, like, really was feeling it. And now today, putting it on, I'm like, I don't know how I feel. Okay, now that's the tightest it will go to. That's, like, the tightest. Like, you look at it up here, how it's parted, and you think it's gonna, like, look cool, and then it's, like, bleh. Like, it's too much hair. Like, I feel like a rocker or something, you know? Like, I feel like I'm in the 80s. I don't know. It's, and like, okay, so let's just say I wanted to do a ponytail. That's how the ponytail would look. Like, who has this much thick-ass hair? Like, I'm sure maybe somebody out there, but, like, it's just, I think it looks fake. And, um, I'm not, I don't think I'm happy with it. I really don't because like it's just kind of ratty and wild. I feel like my hairdresser could make it into something like amazing probably but um as of right now I don't know how I feel about it. What do you guys think? Tell me um your take on this wig. Do you think that it is good? Do you think it just needs work? <laughs> Have you done stuff with wigs yourself? Do you, What would you do to it? I don't know. But let me know in the comments down below. Uh, yeah, this one is just very, like, crazy and wild. And it really made, like, my hair. Like, I feel like I had it so secure before. And, like, it looked really good. And then I, like, had to mess around and take the one wig cap off. And it made it, like, stupid. Yeah, look at Oh, my God. There's, like, a pin sticking through. It made it, like, stupid. And I hate that, <laughs> obviously. Like, that's annoying, so. Okay. I think the winner for me and for you guys would be the pink one. Only because it's super freaking functional. You can wear it out of the bag. It doesn't look like a party wig. Now, I don't know if you get other colors. I'm just going off of this pink that I got. It does not look like a party wig. You will be taken seriously and i've had people tell me oh my god i love the color of your new hair uh my new hair is a wig <laughs> so uh it worked nice it was comfortable with my glasses if you have like a tinier head than most people i know that sounds kind of weird but if you do like it fits why is it when i'm filming videos it's like people know they're just like let's call her phone and this chair is like let's Squeak. now i'm trying to make a squeak and it won't like why does my life do this stuff to me anyways yeah this was the winner for today for us um it is nice you can wear it out of the bag it's soft pliable i wore it with a headband honestly the one day to be honest with you i'll insert pictures over here and it was really cute and people were like is that your real hair and i was like no but Hey, it could be. Wow, I just cracked myself off of there. But look at it from the back. Like, it's just, yes. Vogue, princess life. So if you guys like this video, please. What is going on today? So if you guys like this video, please thumbs it up. Subscribe down below. Become a Barbie or a Ken, And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.